Witch Craze, a new history of the European witch hunts, by and Llewellyn Barstow delves deep into the dark and perplexing history of the European witch hunts during the late medieval and early modern periods. Through meticulous research and insightful analysis, Barstow offers a fresh perspective on this often misunderstood phenomenon, highlighting its socio-political, religious, and gender-related dimensions. Barstow's work begins by challenging the traditional narratives surrounding the witch hunts. She argues that the witch hunts were not merely a result of mass hysteria or superstition but were deeply rooted in the socio-political and religious context of the time. By placing the witch hunts within their historical framework, Barstow dispels the notion that they were irrational outbursts of fear and instead suggests that they were calculated acts of persecution. One of the central arguments in Witch Craze is the connection between the witch hunts and the changing socio-political landscape of Europe. Barstow convincingly demonstrates how the witch hunts were often used as a means of social control by the ruling elite. She argues that the fear of witches served to divert attention away from real societal problems and consolidate the power of those in authority. By scapegoating alleged witches, authorities could distract the masses from issues such as famine, disease, and political unrest. Barstow's analysis sheds light on the ulterior motives behind the witch hunts and the ways in which they were exploited by those in power. Religion also plays a significant role in Barstow's analysis. She highlights how the Catholic Church, as well as various Protestant denominations, played a central role in promoting and perpetuating the witch hunts. Barstow argues that the Church's teachings on witchcraft and its authority in matters of faith and morality legitimized the persecution of supposed witches. The religious dimension of the witch hunts is further underscored by the fact that many of the accused witches were women, and the hunts were often framed as a battle against Satan and his female minions. Barstow's examination of the religious aspect of the witch hunts deepens our understanding of the ideological underpinnings of this phenomenon. Gender is another critical aspect of Barstow's analysis. She emphasizes that the witch hunts were, in many ways, a gendered phenomenon. Women made up the majority of those accused and persecuted as witches. Barstow argues that the witch hunts can be seen as an expression of the misogyny and fear of female power that pervaded European society at the time. Women who deviated from societal norms or held unconventional beliefs were particularly vulnerable to accusations of witchcraft. Barstow's discussion of gender sheds light on the ways in which the witch hunts were not only about religious and political control but also about the subjugation of women. Throughout Witch Craze, Barstow draws on a wealth of historical sources, including trial records, theological writings, and contemporary accounts. Her use of primary sources lends credibility to her arguments and allows readers to gain a nuanced understanding of the events she describes. Moreover, she presents compelling case studies of individual women who were accused of witchcraft, providing a humanizing perspective on the victims of this dark chapter in history. Barstow's writing is accessible and engaging, making witch craze suitable for both scholars and general readers interested in the history of witch hunts. She deftly weaves together historical narratives, theoretical frameworks, and personal stories to create a comprehensive and thought-provoking analysis of the European witch hunts. In conclusion, and Llewellyn Barstow's Witch Craze a new history of the European witch hunts offers a compelling reinterpretation of this dark period in European history. By exploring the socio-political, religious, and gender-related aspects of the witch hunts, Barstow challenges conventional wisdom and provides a fresh perspective on the motivations and consequences of this widespread persecution. 
Her use of primary sources and engaging narrative style make this book a valuable contribution to the study of the witch hunts and their enduring significance in our understanding of power, gender, and religion in early modern Europe.